Hello, here's another lesson for you for the electromagnetic spectrum. We're looking at radio waves today. Okay, don't forget the things that we need to remember. So red stars mean that you need the information, you need to take notes from it. And blue boxes mean there are questions that you need to answer. As usual, don't forget to have a pencil, don't forget to turn your uh, phone off. And remember that you need to complete this slideshow before you do the assessment. Okay, remember task. Okay, so you probably want to pause the video at this point. You want to write down the uh, write down the um, questions and then answer them. Okay, welcome back. Here we go through the answers. Number one, the equation uh, for uh, time period is one over frequency. Uh, to the unit of wavelength is in meters, can be in centimeters, can be in millimeters, but normally in meters. Reflection is the bouncing back of light from a surface. It can also be the bouncing back of any form of wave as well. Number four, refraction. Refraction is the bend bending of light when it passes into a different medium. Um, e.g. from uh, air to glass, it could be from air to water, it could be from glass to air, from um, air, from water to air. So anything that's more dense or less dense, the light will either bend towards or away from the normal. And number five, the equation for wave speed is wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. And, oh yeah, number six is um, 10,000 10, times 0 0.2, which is 2,000 meters per second. Okay, um, it, this has to be in meters. So hang on, let me get my pointer. This one has to be in meters, okay? So you might see this as um, 20 centimeters, okay? you would have to divide that by 100, which would give you 0 0.2. There you go, 2,000 meters per second. Okay, what are radio waves? All right, so here is a slide that tells you what radio waves are. All right, it has a red star on it, so you probably want to pause it and take the notes from it. Okay, so let's just recap what you've actually written down. Uh, broadcast of, of every radio and television program involves the use of radio waves. Radio waves are the type of electromagnetic waves within the longest wavelength. So in other words, they're right down here. Okay, building size, street size, town size, that kind of size, they're quite big. Radio waves have a wavelength greater than 30 centimeters and length of a standard ruler. So 30 centimeters, so if you just take out the ruler that we have at school, it would be that is the shortest wavelength that you can have. Okay, so how do radio waves produce? Radio waves are produced by passing an oscillating electrical current through a long wire called an aerial. Basically what you do is you have an electrical current and you change its direction backwards and forwards. And what that does is it produces an electromagnetic field, which produces radio waves. All right. So the frequency of the radio, radio waves produced is the same as the frequency of the oscillating current. So if you have a 50 hertz current, you'll have a 50 hertz radio wave. If you have a 1000 hertz current, you would have a 1000 hertz radio wave. So this allows radio waves of different wavelengths to be produced. These radio waves have uh, slightly different properties and are used for different purposes. So things are used for different, so higher frequency ones are used for things like um, FM radio, and then you can have a uh, long wave, a medium wave, um, and they're used for different things. So 
uh, when radio waves are absorbed by an aerial you probably want to pause the video at this point as it now has a red star in the corner um, and just take the notes from this slide okay welcome back let's just go through the um, the slide to make sure we've got everything so when radio waves are absorbed by the aerial the electrons in the aerial vibrate backwards and forwards at the same frequency as the radio waves so it's in reverse to the making of radio waves this can uh, this gives rise to an alternating voltage in the aerial current as well uh, which can be fed into a radio or a, a sound system so if you fed it into a radio you would you'd be able to hear a radio station if you fed it into a sound system you may pick up a radio station or music or something like that the radio waves can cause the electrons to be pulled in one direction and then in the other direction so in this oscillating effect so oscillation is basically the movement of something backwards and forwards okay as a as a change which causes the ele electrical current to be made in the wire so you get this uh, current in the wire which is then used by the radio to um, produce sound that is the same as the radio waves okay types of uh, radio waves and their uses so you've got radio waves that have different frequencies and they're used for broadcast radio television so communications is another one so several types of radio waves are used for communication so you can have walkie-talkies radio stations cb radios um, all these kind of things use uh, radio waves okay so they're communicating and each of these would have a different frequency so radio, the walkie-talkies would be on one, uh, the radio station would be on another, and the CB radio station would be on another. Um, I've used um, these similar walkie-talkies to these for a job that I did, and we used to occasionally get flooding, um, which is basically being able to hear um, radio um, walkie-talkies from another place across the road that had similar walkie-talkies to us, um, that we could hear them talking as well. They must have been able to hear us. Okay, uh, radio control. So you can control model cars, planes, boats. Uh, radio con um, control radio waves can be used to send signals and receive them. So you can control things like radio cars, drones, for instance. Um, very good use of radio waves and controlling things like that. So you can fly them quite a considerable distance from you and then things like model boats but also you could use them for controlling um, radio controlled uh, vehicles that you wanted to use or um, mine detection equipment that where you didn't need to you didn't want people involved so even though these are like toys here and here um, they have a, important applications that can be used for when you don't want people involved and also, of course, drones that you can use, then you don't need to use a helicopter. All right, so let's move on. So, um, on the video, oh, sorry, on the presentation, there is a video. There's this one here. Um, worth looking at, um, it's about radio telemetry, which basically use, is this thing here, radio frequency identification. Um, this identification system involves tagging of an object, animal, or person with a with a microchip which produces a particular radio frequency it can be used to identify pet, uh, pets and uh, and keyless um, you can also have um, keyless cat flaps that detect um, the collar with the, the pet that has on a particular collar and the cat flap will open which is quite cool um, but also you can use it in nature what they do is they they radio tag um, animals or birds so in the case here radio tagging uh, valuable birds and then what they can do is they can track them if they go missing or in this case here with the video um, uh, this lady's looking for uh, uh, skunks in America um, quite useful quite an interesting uh, video if you you want to spend 10 minutes looking at that 
Okay, so you probably want to stop the video at this point. Um, these are questions you need to answer. Okay, here are the answers. So, number one, uh, false radio waves have a longer f wavelength, or the longest wavelength, 30 centimeters and above. Number two, radio waves are transverse waves. All right, they're part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Number three, the speed of radio waves is the same as all electromagnetic waves, um, electromagnetic, uh, all of the electromagnetic spectrum, and it's 300,000 kilometers a second, or three times 10 to the eight meters per second, or 300 million meters a second. And to put that into context, that's uh, around the world seven times in one second, or to the moon and back in just over a second and a half. Okay, or from the sun to us in just over eight minutes. Number four, communication, radio, radio controlling things, um, radio tracking. Number five, uh, radio waves are produced by passing an oscillating ele electrical current through a long wire called an aerial. Um, number six, um, what is generated by the aerial? An, an alternating voltage in the aerial, which can, can be fed into a radio or stereo system or sound system. Okay, we've come now to the end of the lesson. Um, what you now need to do is you now need to complete the assessment for this lesson. Okay, um, make sure that you've gone fully th um, through the slides so that you have the information you need for the assessment. Okay, it's been been nice nice doing this again. Um, hopefully, um, catch you next time. Goodbye for now. Have the information you need for the assessment. Okay, it's been been nice nice doing this again. Um, hopefully, um, catch you next time. Goodbye for now.